Hey guys, Blake Calhoun and a little behind the scenes look here. I'm sitting at the workbench and today we've got some exciting news. Yes, as indicated with the phone you saw at the beginning, Filmic Pro has released Log V3. And so in this video, I'm gonna show some sample footage I've shot so far. This is really a first look video. I haven't really gotten to dive that deeply into it, but I do have some great samples to show you. So let's get into the footage.
So pretty impressive stuff. I really like the shots of my dog there. Now next up, I wanna show some stuff I shot with my daughter, and this was shot with an earlier version of the Log V3 Beta. The footage you've been watching was the latest greatest. This next footage was shot a little bit earlier, and so just keep that in mind. It still looks great, but it's just a little bit different than the final. This was shot about 20 or so minutes, maybe 30 minutes before sunset. So very much at dusk and it is darker than this image would indicate. And so the color corrected look is more what it looked like to my eye when I was shooting. The log is creating quite a bit of latitude for post-production color grading, color correction. Really pay attention to that tree and the fence on the far right side there. Once it's graded down, it looks good. The RAW really helps with that. But the iPhone actually handles the overall dynamic range better. Again, look at the back right corner, the fence and the tree. With the Blackmagic camera, I actually had to do a power window to grade just that one specific area of the image. And that is one benefit to shooting RAW or log. Now the close-up here shooting Log V3 is a pretty dramatic difference once graded. And again, this being an early version of Log V3, it was inadvertently overexposed a little bit on her skin tone. However, I was able to pull it back much better than I ever thought I could. And now here is the same shot with the Blackmagic Pocket 4K. Keep in mind, I'm not actually comparing these cameras for image quality per se. I'm really just looking more at dynamic range. And the iPhone definitely does a good job. I'll be shooting some more comparisons like this against the Blackmagic and maybe other cameras, but also doing more stuff with people and looking at skin tone, etc. So be sure to look for that coming in the near future. Now the last thing I'm gonna show today is a sequence I put together. I shot a bunch of stuff at the lake and I just cut it to music. It's a nice montage of stuff using the ultra wide, the tele, and the wide lens. And so you can get a good feel for how this stuff performs depending on the lens. And spoiler alert, it really looks good across the board. And by the way, I'll definitely have a lot more coverage on Log V3. If you follow my channel for very long, you know that I've done a lot of videos on Log V1 and Log V2. And so I'll be doing the same with Log V3. The LUT that I used in this episode, I, it's a custom LUT that I created and I will have that available on my website very soon, along with a variety of more LUTs that work exclusively with Log V3. And one last note, guys. Remember, Log V3 only works on the iPhone 12 and in the future. So anything prior to the iPhone 12 will not work with 10-bit video. And very last thing, the next stuff you're gonna see was shot with an ND filter. This is the Moondog Labs multi-camera filter mount, and this is an ND 1.2. 